Tom back from Antinic and today's build guide is going to be on the N-Gage Twin Tunnel Series set I've designed. Uh, this is style 2, I'll get to style 1 uh, next, it's just that someone specifically wants this on the website so I'm getting this done today. So, comes in a flat sheet, again this is just the mock-up, it'll come slightly larger with the logo one and all that but this is a basic shape of the sheet. I have simply sprayed this with a car primer to begin with, so it's like a, not a red oxide, uh, and I've allowed that to dry and now I'm going to push out all the pieces. So for this stage I'll bring you in closer and we'll get on with the build. So to, for this build I recommend that you have a sharp scalpel, some glue, I use super glue, you could use PVA glue, whatever glue works best for you, uh, and just a pointy stick to help us push the pieces out of the uh, MDF stock that it comes in. So. They're the tools that we'll require for the build guide. So I'll bring you in closer, like I said, now and we'll make a start. Okay, so like I said, I uh, cut the, uh, sprayed the sheet first with some red oxide. So I'm just going to push it out of the hard stock, uh, the MDF stock. Surprise each piece out. And for the thinner pieces, where it's held in with the little tabs, I'm just going to run a knife just to help feed them out of the onto the parts so put it around all the corners okay and then I'm just gonna flip it over I'm using a screwdriver or something pointy I'm just gonna run me Tool across the back, and that will help them just fall out. Okay, so that's all the pieces. So to begin with, sorry, yep. So to begin with, we've still got the tunnel mouths or entrances still attached. So you can leave it as is if that's the design you would like. Or we can add the extra detail and 3D relief as what I've done in the kit. Just by simply pushing them away. And they'll come free like so. So we'll just do the side for now. So where we've pushed it away, we're going to have just a few little rough edges where the MDF was still attached to one another. So I'm just using a file or some sandpaper just to take that edge away. And then the same again on the inside of the. I'm just going to take off the little edges that were left. Okay. So I've decided on the example I built here that the stonework should be just a mill or two higher. So there's two ways that you could do this. You could. Uh, get some scrap card, a mill thick or whatever thickness you require, put it on the table, put your, your brush your piece on face down, so that's going to be raised up a millimetre, you can drop that piece in, and while that's in position it's going to be just that mill higher up off the table and you can glue it in like so, or I'm just going to do it freehand, so I'm going to start at the top, I'm just going to put it, drop the glue here, I'm going to take the parts I want, I'm just going to align the bottoms up first, so they're nice and aligned. And I'm just using one of my fingers at the back, I've given myself a bit of a relief there. And we're only really concentrating on if you're doing it this way at the top to begin with, and then once that glue's set, we can work down the sides. So. Okay, so as you can see there. I've left myself a bit of a relief and then once that glue is set I'm just going to simply push up the other sides, make it nice and even, turn it a little bit and glue from the back. So that should be done enough for me so I'm just going to look at the front first, 
squeeze it into position with my fingers like so. And then you roll some weight down the back in a few places. I'm just going to hold that until that dries. Okay, the same again for the other side. I'm just going to maneuver it with my fingers, squeeze it when you're happy with it, and then just apply some glue to let it dry. Then to hold it into place and let that dry. Right, so, yeah, so that's looking good. So I'm just going to let that dry before we move on to the next one. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's got that relief what we're after, right the way around. Nice and even. And we're now going to do the same to the other one. So the other side has a very, very thin, one millimeter thick, additional relief. So be careful when you're pulling this one out, so you don't snap it. And you'll see on the model here, it's got an extra relief and then the stonework for the entrance here is set back slightly, so using the knife, just work out, see where they're joined, and you'll see a little tab, and just pull your knife through, and you're basically just pulling them apart, but with a fine blade, you don't have to try and cut the piece, just put the blade down there, and it's enough to make it split. Okay, so... There are the pieces we've got. So the same process as before. I'm going to go on the inside of the entrance and just take off those bears. Sides, the inside of the tunnel entrance, and etc. So, I'm going to do the same again with the thin piece. I'm going to make it stand proud of the front of the tunnel, the entrance. So, again, I'm just going to run some glue down the inside of the top area. I'm going to take the piece we want and then just position it where we want it. Try and get those bottoms nice and level. And then when we're happy with it, just hold it and let that dry. Again, if you're struggling with this bit, you can prop the front up with card and drop the piece in from the back to get the desired height you require of relief you're looking for. So again, that's now secure. I'm going to go down one of the sides, some glue. I'm going to just position that so the relief is the same all the way around here. And I'm just going to squeeze both sides until that sets. It's a minute. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for the other side. Sets. Okay, and then with the stone one, I want this set back a bit on this one, so you could just simply rest it onto the table if you like. And with the same process, I'm just going to apply a little bit on the top. Straight, and then I'm just going to hold that into position. If you're working on the table, be careful not to glue it to it. Uh, that's why I always use glass to uh, glue onto it to make it quite easy. Okay, 
that should be set. Flip it over, drop some glue down on the sides. And then I'm just going to squeeze the sides to force it wide, fill any gaps we may have. I'm just going to allow that glue to set now. Okay, so the next part we want to wheel into position is the brick work protruding away from the tunnel entrance as shown here. Now, if you wanted them angled away, 45 degrees or however you will lay out the fingers, requires it. Just shave off the back using a knife, or you can even file this down. using a knife in this manner, you could uh, put some sandpaper on it and just sand away at 45 degrees, thereabouts. Okay, so I've sanded that or cut it away with the stunning knife there to get a relief. Ideally, you want to take it right up to that edge so it fits brush, but for the video it'll do for now. And if I had the time, I would just sand that with some sandpaper like so and bring it right nice to a knife edge there. But to position it, I'm just going to apply some glue down the back side. I'll fit it up to the Tool. So, I'm going to hold that and let that dry. And that's it, simple as that. This side I will just fit on straight. And once we get on the back side, and just position that up to the Last bit for this to do is to attach the detailing work which goes on the front. So these are longer and designed in such a way depending on which way you want to position your brickwork like so. So if it was coming that way it had to be longer so just get roughly if you rest it up to get the angle you know that the back side needs to be cut there. So just make a little mark there and then let's just do that again. I'm gonna see something like that. Flip it over this way. So okay, so put the mark there and that is on the back so to get your angle right, you want to cut away from that mark, and I'm going to do it quite shallow to begin with, and then back right down, position it to the happy.
this so we've got a good fit there. So once we're happy with the fitness, take yourself some glue. And just on the line you can see visible. Obviously, I've, I've uh, tried to make mine look like concrete on the example here. If you want to try and paint these first before you glue these on, it probably is a bit easier than trying to paint it. But I did manage to paint it while it was attached to the model, so again, it's your choice. Okay, and then I just want to make some fine cuts side to make this side match. So should we back? Same process for the top one. detail and work there. Ideally it should look a bit more like sandstone or nearly old concrete. I've not quite mastered that paint technique yet but I'll get there eventually. And I did this one completely by dry brush uh, just to give that a go because I don't really use it that method that often than on the airbrush but it turned out quite well. Uh, so I'll zoom out and let you see them side by side. Okay guys so that was the Build guide for how to build the Twin Tunnel Style 2 of the Engage Tunnel designs I'm bringing out. I will do number one very shortly and I plan on doing about five different designs so keep a look out for them. If you like the design and you like the way I produce the video please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel that would be fantastic if you could do that for me. Uh, any design tunnel designs you'd like me to see or Add to the image. If you comment below, possibly a link to a image on Google or something like that, would be great. Um, and I'll see if I can get that done for you. So thanks for coming along. As always, my name is Tom, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.